Well, are you having trouble walking around due to pain in your legs and feet? Well, then you may want to listen up because joining us today is Dr. Scott Woodburn from Podiatry Associates to tell us about PAD. All right, well, welcome to Be More Lifestyle. So tell our viewers, what is PAD? What are the risk factors and the symptoms? So peripheral arterial disease is a decrease or absence of blood flow to the foot and the toes, mm -hmm. okay? And well, peripheral meaning the end, so toes, Vascular in this case, meaning the arteries that bring the blood from the heart down to the toes. Risk factors, well, three main risk factors, diabetes, um, smoking, which unfortunately a lot of people still smoke. And the third one, which we can't avoid, age. As we get older, circulation decreases. Okay, so how can a podiatrist detect PAD in a patient? So first off, this, the patients actually have some symptoms that, that they're going to experience, um, mostly pain and uh, achiness of the legs and the feet. Okay, so if, and this is mostly with walking or doing stairs, climbing stairs. Mm -hmm. So if you have, can only walk a, maybe a, a block or two, and then you're starting to get pain in your legs, you have to stop. That's called intermittent claudication. Or if you wake up in the middle of the night due to pain of your feet, you have to get out of bed, put your feet down. That also indicates poor circulation. So that heaviness, achiness, sometimes numbness also is a symptom that patients come in uh, complaining of. As far as what we can do in the office to diagnose this, the first and foremost simplest thing is we check pulses in the feet. There's two pulses in each foot. If they're not palpable, if you can't feel them, that can indicate poor circulation. Also, the, the toes being cool. Also, maybe hair growth not being seen on the digits because the body can't grow the hair because it doesn't have enough blood to do that. Now, also in the office, we have the ability to perform arterial perfusion studies. This is a quantitative study that will give us an idea of how much blood flow is getting into those toes. All right, so I know it's important for people, especially diabetics, to have those regular check-ins with their podiatrist, right? Tell people where they can find you. You guys have a new location opening up, right? Yeah, we have locations all around the Baltimore Beltway, but yes, we have a new location opening up in Cockeysville off of Old Pedonia Road. This is a special location. It's opening up in July because it'll have podiatrists, it'll have vascular surgeons, it'll have wound care specialists and hyperbaric there. So it's kind of one-stop you know, for all the needs for peripheral arterial disease. All right. Well, Dr. Woodburn, thank you so much for joining us today. The information on where our viewers can find you right there on the bottom of our screen. I appreciate you.